Hello everyone, it is me, Teacher May, your teacher for today. Join me in our lesson on Learning Science 5 about properties of materials and their uses. We are going to identify some properties of materials found at home or in school. Classify properties of materials as to their uses, whether useful or harmful, and use materials properly according to how useful or harmful it is. Everything around us is matter. The trees, the bicycles, the street lights, and even buildings and houses are made up of matter. The things that surround us is made up of matter. Matter is made up of different materials. Things that we can find at home such as brooms, plates, cleaning objects, and even kitchen wares are what we call materials from home. And books, notebooks, calculators, scissors, and ball pens are materials that we can actually find in school. What are materials? A material is a physical substance used to make things. It is categorized according to metals, which consist of the following bronze, steel, brass, aluminum, iron, and copper. Some of the materials are also made up of plastics, such as lunch box, water bottles, and plastic bags that are used in the markets. Are some of the examples of the things that are made up of plastics. We also have materials made from ceramics. These are the materials that we usually found at home. And the most common products that made up of ceramics are furnitures. Materials made of glass are the most common materials that we usually use in windows, doors, and even walls in buildings. We also have fibers. Fibers is a natural or a man-made substance that are often used in manufacture of other materials. One of the examples for this is the cotton. And lastly, we have rubber. Rubber is used extensively in many applications and products, either alone or in combination with other materials. In most of its useful forms, it has a large stretch ratio and high resilience and is extremely waterproof. For example, the clothes you are wearing are made from fibers. The chair you are sitting on is made from plastics. And the windows in the school are made from glass. Can you see any other examples around you? Materials have different properties and characteristics depending on what they are used for. Some materials are hard, while the others are soft. Some are strong, and the others are weak. Here are the list of properties of materials found in products we use at home and in school. We have shiny, strong, flexible, light, heavy, magnetic, hard, 
brittle, malleable, transparent, translucent, opaque, conductor, and insulator. Can you think of material you use every day at home? Let's try answering this. Are you ready? What property of material is the object made of? The first picture is a pencil. Is it hard, conductor, opaque, or heavy? How about the second picture? It's a window. What property of material is the object made of? Is it transparent, brittle, translucent, or hard? How about the third picture? What property of material is the fork made of? Is it hard, shiny, opaque, or conductor? How about the fourth picture? What property of material is the paper made of? Is it light, opaque, malleable, or hard? Let's check your answers. These are the materials made of the following properties. Have you got it all correct? Well then, congratulations! Study the tables below about the properties, the materials, and their products. Let's try to go over the properties and their uses. Can you name the picture? Correct, it's a saucepan. Why are saucepan made from metal? Which properties make it suitable for use? Saucepan is a good conductor of heat. It does not melt in high temperatures and is strong. It is very useful in cooking. But, on the other hand, it can be harmful if not properly used while cooking because you might be burned. Let's try to look at the second example. Can you name it? Correct. It is a genre. Why are genre made from bleach? Which properties make it suitable for use? Zonrux is an agent for cleaning and disinfectant, and it is malleable. It is useful for laundry and home disinfection, but it can be harmful to humans if ingested or inhaled 
or if it stays on the skin for too long. Let's do it! Classify the materials that can be found at home or in school, whether it is useful or harmful to use. We have the computer. Is it useful or harmful? Computer is very useful in making assignments and doing research. How about the bygone? Insect repellent, is it useful or harmful? It may be harmful when not properly in use. How about the third picture? Is it useful or harmful? It is useful in the classroom. How about this last picture? Is it useful or harmful? It may be harmful when you are not able to use it properly. Let's answer this. Choose the letter of the correct answer. Number 1. Farmers use chemical fertilizers to increase their harvests. What are the harmful effects of these when not properly used? A. It pollutes water, air, and soil. B. It gives abundant harvest. C. It destroys the plant. Or D. It gives more income to the farmers. What is your answer? Number 2. What are you going to do on chemical substances that are left over from products such as soap, detergent, and chlorine? A. Water it into the plant. B. Throw it to the rivers. C. Leave it anywhere at home. Or D. Dispose it properly where it is not reachable by children. What is your answer? Number 3. Oil spill from ships and barge pollutes the ocean. Which among the following are most affected by this harmful effect? A. Aquatic plant and animals. B. Birds flying around the sea. C. People traveling and crossing the ocean. Or D. The community. What is your answer? Number 4. Muriatic acid, zonrox, and chlorine are substances used in cleaning. When are these materials become harmful? A. Use it without proper guidance. B. Helps disinfect at home. C. Keep it properly to secure a place. Or D. Use it with precautionary measure. What is your answer? Number 5. How can an LPG be useful? A. It can be used in burning houses. B. It can be used in cooking. C. It can be dangerous. Or D. There is no harm in using LPG. Happy learning kids! See you in our next learning session.